this little Dynex headphone for writing so I can uh, talk while I'm uh, at videoing uh, all my stuff on the bike. But, as you may have seen from some of my other videos, uh, or my last video that I did, uh, the wind noise that this was picking up was pretty bad. It was picking up the voice good, but the, the actual wind noise was almost too much. So, I decided to try to make something myself. So, I ended up buying these. So they're little pom-poms. And... This, which is a uh, faux fur. They didn't have black, so it was brown or white, so I chose brown. Um, and I'm going, with uh, the help of my wife, hopefully, to do a little bit of sewing, try to make a little dead cat. All right, so anyway, so this is the uh, faux fur that I got. You can see inside, it's got, I don't even know what kind of material it is, but uh, it should be a little bit more protective. Uh, I know the thicker this is, the better it is for wind dampening. So, because this wasn't overly thick, I'm hoping that these will uh, benefit a little bit. So, we shall see. So, you see when I cut it, it just kind of falls apart. I thought maybe there was some foam inside them, but it doesn't really seem like there is. So, that just kind of falls right apart in your hands. That's not really that helpful. So, here's the ball again. I'm probably going to end up just taking it and sticking it with some tape or something to the end of it just so that it's there so I can put the other stuff around it. Alright, check back in a minute. Okay, so I didn't really sew it. Uh, not really sew it, I didn't sew it. Uh, and there it kind of is. I just used some, just an elastic band. I figured instead of sewing it right now, I might as well just test it to see how it is. So, that is it. So it's got the foam inside it. I just put in with a little tape and this right here. Uh, and I'm going to try this with my half helmet to see if that actually helps stop some of the wind. So I'm going to head out and uh, do some recording and see how that works. Alright, I'll check back with you in a few minutes. Cool. Okay, well this is just a test to see how well this little uh, mic thing works. So I'm just going to do a small little drive around the block, do some testing with it. Let's see if it's okay. So again, it's not uh, overly attractive but that's okay doesn't need to be just needs to do its job so I got a little bit of foam in there as well as put that down a little bit maybe or right around there so I'm gonna try to get up to some not like fast speeds but fast enough Just to see if I can get uh, any wind noises coming, because that's really all I'm concerned about right now, is the wind noise. So, we shall see in a minute. What's going on so far in my uh, earpiece? I'm not hearing anything, which is good, because before... Honestly, I can't remember if I was hearing anything before or not, but I don't think I'm hearing anything now, which is fantastic. So, this may be doing the job. I just need to uh, make sure that um, the furry parts aren't getting in my way. If you know what I mean. Nothing wrong with the furry parts getting in your way.
Alright, so let's see how well it does with me hitting a certain speed. So, right now I'm getting up to uh, 80. So I'm at 80 kilometers an hour, 90. Uh, slowing down a little bit just to see. Um, I may be able to get a little faster down this straight to here, but it's, you know, again, it's just a wind test. So we're just going to see. So we'll come around here. And it says its speed is 70, but let's crank it up. And I'm not sure if this is picking up any engine noise at all. I have my doubts that it is. So, all right. So we're at, we're definitely at 90 now. So 100 and uh, doing 100 kilometers an hour. But that's 100 on my speedometer. So my guess is I'm probably doing closer to 90s and back down to 80. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if there's any uh, wind noise coming through this. So this little do-it-yourself kit, just so you know, I bought I bought those pom-pom things, and the whole pack cost me uh, three bucks. Now that's three dollars for I don't know. I don't, there's got to be fifty or sixty pom-poms in there, um, and you know what? I wrecked one because I had to figure that out and uh, used actually the second one. So that's all right. People just walk in the center of the street. That's always good. Um, and then the lovely, um, this thing, which is flopping around in my face, which is kind of nice though. It's all right, you know, for doing these. I don't mind that at all. Um, that thing also cost me between three and four bucks. So. That's a fantastic deal, I think. So four bucks. So it cost me about, you know, let's say with all the taxes in, I'd say it cost me seven dollars, plus an elastic band, you know. So I'd say pretty good savings over having to uh, find something like this at a camera shop or uh, an actual audio shop, it would easily cost me way more money. And the bonus is, I have a crap ton of leftover pieces. I barely use any of the fur, faux fur, I guess, you know. I use probably, I don't know, a sixth or an eighth of it, just enough to cover the end here and have enough uh, so that the elastic band has something to reach around. And, you know, I used two, two of the uh, little pom-pom things. So again, I barely use any of it, which is awesome. And, uh, you know, I can actually hear what's coming out of my headset quite nicely, actually, which is surprising because the other day when I was riding, I couldn't hear anything. It was, uh, it was just wind just a whole bunch of wind so this is considerably better I could actually uh, talk on this thing for a while and I have to say that you know I'm gonna buy one of the things I want to buy is a set of FRS radios you know for uh, whatever if you're riding with somebody else or if you're uh, riding with the passenger you know, so again, I don't ride much with the passenger, especially on this bike, but on my next bike, I sure hope to, because this poor little bike, it can get me around, and that's about good. But I know that this little trick of putting this, this faux fur on my microphone could be the uh, cat's ass, as it will, because, you know, it's my own little dead cat, which is fantastic, you know. It uh, seems to be working well, uh, and I have no complaints so far. Now I say that, but I have yet to go home and actually verify that this is actually working. So it'll be uh, a good test once I get there. So anyway, 
Let's go back to the actual mic that is in this. So this is a Dynex mic. Um, I don't know, it's 29 bucks. Um, future shop here in Ottawa had it on for $19, so, you know, Best Buy would uh, match them. And uh, to be completely honest with you, uh, I went to Future Shop first, and the, the guy trying to help me was absolutely useless. So uh, I, I was like, yeah, I'm out, because you, you don't seem to want to waste any of your time, your precious time giving me a hand. So uh, I know they're both owned by the same company. They're both owned by Best Buy. But you know what? I went to Best Buy and picked this up, and they price matched their own company, which, you know, they should. Um, and yeah, it, it's nice. It's very light. It's got a nice little foam piece on the outside. Uh, supposedly, it's got noise cancelling. Um, you can actually see on the microphone itself when you look at it that there's a, an area on one side of it and then the microphone on the, the side that actually faces faces your mouth, I guess. So, but yeah, it uh, does the job. It's inexpensive, which is fantastic. I'm all about, you know, doing stuff on a budget if I don't have to spend a ton of money. And, uh, yeah, we shall see. I'm uh, almost home now. Anybody, again, who watches these videos may start to recognize some of the scenery around my place. Because I, uh, well, I travel around this block a lot because uh, you know you gotta come home so alright so the last little turn and I'll be home so anyways yeah 20 bucks or so for this mic and you know what this is a boom saw mic but this could easily be done or used on any kind of mic for those of you that are you know I'm running on a half helmet, so I got all the wind coming at me as possible. Uh, but if you're running a, you know, just a full face or a, you know, full size helmet, nothing, nothing can be better to take the take the wind off, which is good. All right, so yeah, grand total for me was I don't know, twenty-seven dollars. So I'm quite happy. All right, guys. Talk to you in a bit. Ciao.